50,000 people used to live in a city. Now it's a ghost town. Pripyat in Chernobyl was once a city of prosper until the law destroyed since 26th of April 1986. Today I will discuss the human aspects about the individuals who are involved in the Chernobyl nuclear disaster. Anatoly Dyatlov, the vice chief engineer of the nuclear power plant, is responsible for the accident. The operators are supposed to carry out an experiment to practice the procedures to be done in case of a power failure. Theoretically, during a power failure, the slowing turbine of the plant should be able to provide enough electricity in order to operate the cooling pumps until the backup generators are operative after a minute. Based on the safety procedure, the test should only be conducted with power output of no lower than 700 milliwatts. However, due to operational errors, the power output is dropped to only 30 milliwatts during the test. The other operators wanted to abort the test, but they were threatened by Anatoly Dyatlov to continue the dangerous test. Soon, the cooling pumps failed to function and the coolant was boiled to steam, causing the steam turbine to produce an immense amount of power. With high temperature and power, the power plant started to melt down and finally exploded. If Anatoly Dyatlov was less stubborn to obey the safety rules, he would have aborted the test and all of these tragedies won't happen. From what I learned from his failure, we have to obey all the safety procedures when carrying out any project. And we should always place safety as the first priority because lives are the most important thing that comes before anything.